I'm Brian Tracy and welcome to The Brian Tracy Show. Today we're here with one of the foremost experts and authorities on integrity marketing and success. And Christopher Cumby is going to give us some ideas about what he's doing and ideas that can help you to be dramatically more successful and effective, not only in running your business, but in running your life. Christopher, thank you very much yeah. for being here. Thank you, Brian. It's a real Appreciate pleasure to it. see you. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, first of all, I'm a dad. I have three kids and uh, one on the way. Um, I'm a husband, so I have a beautiful wife. And uh, I've been uh, an entrepreneur for 14 years. And I run a marketing company as well as uh, an energy company. And I'm personally uh, working on uh, coaching and helping entrepreneurs realize their dreams. So. Oh, wow. Now tell me, uh, what are the problems and needs that entrepreneurs have that, they, that you can help them with? Well, I think challenges create change. So, you know, that's one of the things that I've really focused on is in order to achieve things, you have to change, right. um, specifically yourself. And you got to focus on what's important to you and what you love and, you know, try to articulate that into what you do for a living. Right. Um, I specifically have worked hard on being a, a great salesperson. And uh, Brian, I learned a lot from yourself. And, you know, I teach a lot of what I've learned. So I'm a student first and uh, probably a teacher second, but I certainly uh, look forward to, you know, helping as many people as I can with the things that I've learned. Yeah, well, you know, what has always motivated me personally is to learn and teach, learn and teach. I learn this stuff and I think, this is neat stuff. Yeah. And I turn around and I want to tell it to somebody else. For sure. So that they can benefit from it as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and you're talking about being a husband, father. I just got a bio yesterday from someone, very successful businessman. He said, what, is, what are you? He says, I'm a father, a husband, a friend, and a business person. <laughs> right, right. I try to keep it in that order and as well. keep it in that order. That's yeah, really great. Yeah. So what is your vision? What is your mission for your business? What is your purpose? Why, do you, why are you doing what you're doing when you could be doing so many other things? Yeah, for sure. And that's a great question. And I thought about that and contemplated it for a long time. Um, because I was successful at sales, but I wanted to, you know, how, do I, how can I help my children for one? Right. Um, so the success playbook that I'm currently writing and almost finished Yes. was really designed for my kids. Uh, it helped me articulate some of the things that were challenges in my life, but really boil it down. I'm a synthesizer by nature, just right. being in sales. Right. So I wanted to make sure that I can really align uh, some simple things. Yes. And I find that if you, you know, master the simple things, then you'll conquer the large things in life. So that's uh, currently what I'm working on and certainly uh, very excited about it. Yeah. You know, what we do as synthesizers, and I see myself as a synthesizer as well, is we take complex ideas and we make them simple mm -hmm. so that people can practice them immediately and get results. Yeah. Not long, drawn out academic dissertations from the university, but here's what it is, here's how it works, do this now. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I was never a great student at school, right. but certainly a student of life and uh, that's where I focused all my energy because I knew that I was going to get into sales. I've been a commissioned sales guy for most of my life. I started right. sales at nine years old, believe it or not. Right. Um, I was selling pop door to door. Yes. And uh, those are the things I learned the most, is just kind of being in it. Ten years selling soap door to door. Right. I knew that too. <laughs> I, joined, I joined Amway at, you know, 18 years old. Wow. I was pretty successful at that. Great company. Um, at 21, uh, you know, I started to think about other things. But uh, at 22, I found out I was going to have a baby. And I have a 21-year-old boy. He's here with me today. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. Great. Everybody thinks he's my brother, which is ah. great. <laughs> <laughs> well, now uh, you're doing some unique things that are different from that of other people. Uh, we say that in all of business, unique added value is the key. It's to mm -hmm. be to have a unique selling proposition, an area of excellence or superiority. So, if someone were to say, "Why should I use your services rather than someone else's?" What would be the first reason that you would give? Well, I think at the end of the day, um, there's three sort of fundamentals uh, to life. You know, you have to have something to believe in, someone to believe in, and someone to believe in you. Right. And I do that for my clients. I believe in what they want, and I help them articulate and get through all of that. Yes. And it's challenging because at the same time, a lot of people don't know what they want. So I help them find where they are, where they want to go, and help them kind of bridge the gap to that. And uh, hopefully they get through um, and understand, you know, that uh, they just got to apply themselves and do what they love. And that's really helped me through my life. So. Wow. Well, I was just listening to a bright guy the other day, and he said, we get lost in abstracts, mm -hmm. you know, be happy, successful, uh, fulfill ourselves, and so on. He said, we have to translate abstracts into actions. He said, that's the key. And that was a real great one-liner. For sure. Abstracts into action. Not just, I want to be thin, but what specific exercises 
diet, things do I need to do on an hour by hour basis? And that's where you and I are, can be the most helpful. Sure. This gives people specific actions to do. Well, now you've got some great success stories uh, mm -hmm. in, your, in your history, in your career, and you've always, always one or two that you're really proud of, that you met this person or this company and they were here, and as a result of working with you, they're now here. Right. And they reported back to you, and it makes you sort of beam when you hear about that. Yeah, you for sure. Give an example. Yeah, definitely. I, I just had one come in, as I'd mentioned uh, earlier. Um, a ton of testimonials came through in the last uh, little while, and specifically I had a partner that I had no idea how much I really helped him. But, you know, he wrote me a nice note, and it, and it just really, it was heartfelt, and uh, he wrote the fact that I helped him jump out of himself a little bit and, you know, figure out that uh, the important things to him are to do what he loves, go after the, his dreams, and he's doing it currently, and it's amazing to see, because we're not partners anymore, um, but to circle back on that and right. see that, it just uh, really, uh, really made me feel great. Um, and I have lots of stories like that. I, I mean, I currently do things, and you know, I see the results of people that uh, I help, um, and that's what I've been focused on. But most importantly, I think the biggest thing is that um, you know, my own businesses. I was successful in building them. Yes. Uh, it's <laughs> shoestring budgets, and right. uh, not a lot of money to back me up. But uh, I've been very successful in figuring that out, and you know going through life. I've been a wrestler for most of my life, so uh, 11 years wrestling, you get, you know, you get on your back a few times, you, you don't stay there. <laughs> That's right. Well, I just finished recording a, a new book of mine called Sales Success, and, and in that book, I talk about this, uh, this principle that you just mentioned, is helping people uh, transform their lives, mm -hmm. is that before they met you, they were one thing, after they met you, uh, they were another. And one of the things I talked about was anecdotal selling, mm -hmm. and anecdotal selling is to Describe your business in terms of stories. Just tell stories because people can relate totally to a story, but going back to abstracts, they can't relate to an abstract. Yeah, sure. So constantly talking about what you do in terms of the stories of the people who went through it. And they say, you changed my life, you changed my business. But if it right. wasn't for you, and, the, yeah. and those are the greatest words you can hear. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, how can people reach you and learn more about you and take advantage of your services, both in integrity marketing and in the success playbook? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I have a website, so it's uh, really simple, mysuccessplaybook.com. Mysuccessplaybook.com. That's okay. correct. And uh, they can call me on the phone as well. My number is listed. Right. Uh, happy to help and, you know, do anything I can, whether you're a corporation or an entrepreneur or just personal development. Um, I'm always looking for go-getters and uh, the ones that want to really improve their life so because that's the only people I can help. So your value offering in business is you help companies increase their sales and profitability. Absolutely. Quickly, efficiently, effectively, using time-tested, proven, practical methods. Right? Front lines. Front lines. And <laughs> your success playbook is you help people become much more successful and happy with their total life. Yeah, absolutely. Like I How said, I, doing? I, perfect. <laughs> right on. Right on par. In <laughs> fact, uh, you know, I've got five principles. Really, really simple. You're right. And uh, the way I look at it is, you need to know yourself in order to know where you're going. Right. Number two is you. you nothing happens to you unless you create it. Right. Number three, do your own thinking. Many people just rely on opinions that don't matter, and uh, at the end of the day, there's a lot of noise. Right. And uh, really, number four is, um, you know, apply faith. I, I did a lot. You know, I yes. was on my back many times, but, you know, I believe in myself, and I keep going forward. And if I was to quote number five, uh, you know, Earl Nightingale, big fan, um, you are what you think about. So I try to keep my positive thinking, and, uh, and it's resulted in some great things in my life. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much, Christopher. Yeah. Thank that you, Brian. That was pretty great. Yeah, Thank you. for sure.